This is just going to be a short video uh, going through the settings of the DEMA crossover indicator and strategy. And so once you've followed the instructions in the installation tutorial that uh, includes a video and chapters telling you exactly how to install every different type of script that we uh, provide on the site, um, then once you've installed everything, they, the scripts will appear in two different sections. The study or the indicator will show up in the studies section of this edit studies window when you click the beaker icon here or go into, um, into studies. Studies, edit studies. So once you do that, uh, it may show up under the default name, DEMA. Uh, easy DEMA cross indicator, or it could, uh, Thinkorswim could have given it a random generated name such as uh, from easy caters on XYZ date, and so you might look under the F's. Uh, it also could show up under shared from easy caters, uh, so you could look up, uh, look under the S's for shared, and um, that those are two default names that Thinkorswim sometimes assigns to indicators. So if you don't see it immediately when you start searching here, look under shared or under from easy caters in the F's and the S's. Uh, but anyway, so then double click to add it to your chart. And uh, the, so the, the studies will show up in this tab. The strategy will show up in this tab. And so you'll have to do the same search for it through here in the alphabetical list. And um, so I'll do that here. And double click to add it and I'm going to disable that for a moment here. You have your global strategy settings down here by the way uh, so you can adjust the uh, the general settings for strategies down here in the lower corner and um, let me turn the floating P&L off for a moment here while we just go through the settings for the indicator. So this is the indicator um, and I can right click on any plot from the indicator, choose edit studies and automatically go into the settings for that study. And so up here we have the length for the long DEMA and then the short DEMA. So you can see there are two plots, one for the short and one for the long. And so you can choose the lengths, the lengths of those there. Um, down here at the uh, plots sub panel, uh, you have settings for each of the plots that the uh, indicator provides. So one is for the long DEMA, one is for the short DEMA. Then we have the up arrow and the down arrow. Those are plots as well, and you can adjust the thickness of the, uh, the size of the arrows, the color of the arrows, or you can change it to a dot or a wedge or whatever you like, or you can turn the plot off with the show plot checkbox. And so that's how you'd control that. Same thing with the um, uh, moving average lines. You can adjust the line style, uh, and you can adjust the line thicknesses here for each one, and the colors as well. So that's how you can contr control that. Um, the price that actually goes into the DEMA, um, it's by default it would be the closing price of each bar, um, and it would average those together, but you can change it to another uh, price point if you prefer. And you can also use it on volume if you um, drag the DEMA down to the volume subgraph, then you can use volume as the input, and it can be a volume DEMA. Just uh, a side note on that there. Um, so then we have settings here that will let you choose the crossing direction for alerts and arrows. And so you can see buy when short crosses above. So what that's saying is the short DEMA crosses above the long DEMA. And so that's when the arrow appears and sell when the short crosses below the long DEMA. And so you can see when the short DEMA crosses below the long DEMA there, the short arrow appears. But you can reverse that, and you can also, <laughs> if you wanted to, you could set it to any, but I don't think that would uh, uh, give you very good results. But anyway, the settings are there for you to adjust. Um, then we can turn off the short arrows altogether, turn off the long arrows altogether, and the signals. Uh, when you control it there, that will also turn off the uh, uh, the alert for that. And then um, you can hide the EMAs themselves. Uh, you can uh, show or hide the arrows individually here by themselves. 
uh, and then you can turn alerts on and off with uh, as a whole with this setting here. Down in the alert sub panel, you can control the alerts individually by unchecking this enabled checkbox for each one, and that will disable one, uh, whichever one you prefer there. If you leave this to yes, then the, that enables both of these, but then you can selectively disable one of them if you don't want to see it or don't want to hear it. You can control the text that's displayed in Message Center up here, and you can also change the sound and control the behaviors and everything down here. So that's the indicator, and that's how that works. Uh, so now I'm going to click OK, and I've hidden that indicator by unchecking the Show Study box up here. Once, uh, By the way, once you get all your settings how you want it, you can click Save as Default up here at the top, and that will make sure every time you add this to a new chart, it'll automatically have your default settings already pre-programmed in here. So just a side note on that. So now I'm going to enable the uh, strategy instead, and I'm going to show the floating PL study by default. And so this is what it looks like. And this is the strategy file, and the strategy file is essentially there to allow you to test different settings, different uh, DEMA lengths, um, and uh, you can see what price conditions the uh, DEMA performs well in and which price conditions it doesn't perform as well in. So like here is a range, and you can see that during this range we had some chop, and so there were some losses in here, and so we gave back some P&L. And then once the stock, uh, once the uh, crude oil started trending again, then we started getting better performance out of the strategy. So, and the same thing on the short side, you want long fluid trending movement. Uh, you don't want to uh, be buying in the um, in ranging type of behavior. And so you can uh, filter for that type of thing in several different ways. One would be to look at the ATR. Um, ATRs actually tend to expand during ranges and compress during trends, uh, where the size of the candles gets more normal when the uh, asset is trending. Uh, and a lot of times you'll see that the, the price bars are wide and uh, whippy and uh, going basically nowhere, but uh, bigger bars a lot of times when the, uh, when this, the asset is in a range. So you'll a lot of times see the ATR expand a little bit during a range and then shrink back to normal as it starts trending again. So that's one way to filter for trending behavior versus uh, range behavior. And uh, you might just need to keep an eye on uh, other you know, price action fundamentals and that type of thing as well. Or uh, you can also filter for uh, longer term time frame trends. Uh, so um, you know, maybe you only want to be trading at a certain time of the day when uh, trending behavior is more likely, like uh, at the, the open and that kind of thing. And maybe you only want to be trading when a higher time frame chart is in a trend, such as so like uh, here I'm on a four hour, but maybe you would want to look at the weekly chart and make sure it's trending well, or uh, the daily chart and make sure it's trending well before you trade on the four hour and, and something like that. And similar things for lower time frames. If, if this were a one minute chart, then maybe you would want to look at the 15 minute chart or something like that to get your uh, trend indication from. So um, hopefully that uh, will give you some ideas on how to test uh, use the strategy to backtest. And so let's just quickly go through the settings. Um, so in here, we've got all the same settings for the indicator, and you can see it has all the same plots as well. So you can use this as an indicator and as a strategy, um, or you can use the indicator itself uh, that doesn't have the strategy uh, code added on that allows it to calculate a theoretical PNL. Uh, so it has all the same code as the indicator, just with some extra uh, code for the actual back testing. And so uh, skipping down to the actual strategy settings, you can tell it to use a stop, yes or no, and you can tell it what um, percentage to use for the stop, uh, where, and this is in decimal form, so 0.05 means 5%. 
Uh, you can use a target where it takes a fixed target amount at a certain percentage. Um, you can turn shorts and longs on or off individually there and choose which price the strategy is executing at. So if you see here, um, let me go back out to the chart and show you what that means. Um, so right here, we had the crossover happen on this particular bar, but the strategy executes on the open of the following bar. And so that's, that's the default behavior for thinkorswim strategies. And this makes sure that there's no, um, no cheating going on with a strategy where you're um, making use of data that you wouldn't have known at the time. Uh, but there is a way to switch this to allow you to buy at the close of the bar that had the signal if you prefer to do that way. And so you can, to do that, um, the way this is set by default is the open of the bar one bar into the future, which is a negative number. Uh, one bar in the past would be uh, a positive one, one bar back. But if we choose negative one bar back, that means one bar into the future. And so we can set it to uh, the open of one bar in the future, and that's the open of the subsequent bar. And that's the default setting. Or we can set it to the close of bar zero, which is the current bar or the bar on which the signal happens. So that's kind of like home base right there. That's the bar on which the signal happens, and that's the close of bar zero. And again, to put it back to the default behavior, you would just change it to negative one and open. And if you wanted to buy on the close of the bar following uh, the signal bar, you could do that instead as well. So the, there's several options there for you. And uh, then you can have alerts on or off as well. And again, those are controlled down here at the bottom as well. So those are the settings for the indicator and the strategy. And uh, the set also comes with a scanner and a column uh, to help you identify crossovers and go and trade them. And you can adjust the settings for those separately as well. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, just send us an email on the website and we will talk to you next time.